Hello everyone, greetings of the day. This presentation is done by Professor Sudish Fatangari from Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology Pune. In today's session we will discuss about safety practices and procedures to be followed while working in kitchen. In this slide we will discuss about the kitchen accidents. The major types of kitchen accidents are as follows. Cuts. Burns and scalds. Fire. Fracture. Electric shock. Falls. Shock. In this slide we will discuss about kitchen safety. Four golden rules to be followed in kitchen while working are as follows. Never run. If you drop it pick it up. If you spill it. Wipe it up. Keep your mind on what are you doing. The safety practices to be followed if accident does occur. Don't panic. Avoid putting yourselves in unnecessary danger. Take any immediate action you can to minimize injury. Get help as soon as you can. The reasons why accident causes are Disregarding safety rules Lack on concentration when working Working at an unsafe speed Safety is everyone's respective it is respective that never ends. In this slide we will discuss about safety measures to prevent from cuts. Keep the knife sharp always. Always use a chopping board. Don't put the sharp knife or washing along with the dirty utensils. Always hold the knife with the handle. Knife should always should be cleaned carefully. Do not touch broken glasses with bare hands. Glasses should be always kept upside down to avoid breakage. In this slide we will discuss safety measures to prevent from burn. Always consider that the pot is hot and always hold it with tongs or duster. Use dry cloth to hold the pan, wet can create steam which can cause burns. Keep hot pans away from the traffic area. Keep handles of the pan, griddles, and vessels away from the flame so as to hold easily. Don't fill the pans full they are likely to slip. Never carry a heavy container alone. In this slide we will discuss about safety measures to prevent accident from machine and equipment. Do not operate any equipment unless you understand the complete procedure. Use guards and safety device while operating the equipment. Do not remove the food when the machine is functioning. Unplug the electrical equipment while cleaning. Make sure that the switch is off when you are plugging the equipment, do not handle the equipment with wet hands. In this slide we will discuss about prevention from falls. Clean the floor immediately after water or oil spills over. Always keep the stairs clean and without any obstacles. Do not carry heavy objects alone. Never run in the kitchen. Always use a safety ladder never use stool or chair to remove things from top. Always use a trolley for moving the objects. In this slide we will discuss about prevention from fracture and treatment should be given if accident occurs. Fracture is of three types. Closed fracture, no open wound. Open fracture, wound lead to fracture. Complicated fracture. Following treatment should be given if accident occurs. Immobilize fracture and bandage it for support. Make person comfortable, loosen tight clothing. Raise injured part to prevent swell and pain. Cover wound with senile or clean dressing. Seek medical help as soon as possible. In this slide we will discuss about prevention from electric shock. Switch off power and take out plug. Don't touch victim till power off. Otherwise use insulating material like wood, rubber, folded newspaper to push. Feel for pulse and check patient breathing. Don't leave person till medical help arrives. In this slide we will discuss safety measures of prevention from shock. Symptoms which we observe if accident occurs. Giddiness and fitness. Thirst. Nausea and vomiting. Heavy sweating. Rapid shallow breathing. Rapid weak pulse. Confusion and anxiety. 
treatment should be given if accident occurs. Lie patient down ensure adequate airway. Control any bleeding. Call medical help. Loose tight clothing. Reassure patient. Don't give anything to drink. Precautions to be taken while lifting heavy items. Badly lifting can strain muscle or injure life. Don't lift without assistant. Follow correct procedure. Liquid should not placed above eye level. Don't turn or twist back while lifting. In this slide we will discuss about building safety in kitchen. The management of food service operation must see to it that the structure and equipment should have necessary safety features. Adequate lighting in the working area. Non-slippery floors. Clear exits. Clear indication of danger. The application or the procedure for using the equipment must be mentioned on it. Fire extinguishers over the cooking equipment especially deep fryers. Every kitchen must have a first aid kit. All the emergency telephone numbers must be mentioned that is ambulance. The layout of the kitchen must be so as to achieve a smooth traffic pattern to avoid collusion between the workers. Now we will discuss about first aid. As the term implies this is the immediate treatment on the spot to a person who has been injured or is ill. First aid box minimum should contain A card giving general first aid guidelines Individual wrapped, sterile, adhesive, waterproof dressing Cotton wool pack Bandages Tweezers Scissors General medicines like painkillers Book to record injuries in this slide we will discuss about fire prevention. A basic knowledge of retarding fire should assist in preventing fires and handling them if they do occur. Three components are necessary for a fire to start, if one of the three is not present or is removed then the fire does not happen or it is extinguished. The three parts are Fuel, something to burn Air, oxygen to sustain combustion, to keep the fire going Heat gas, electricity etc. Now we will discuss the procedure to be followed in case of fire. The procedure is as follows. Do not panic. Warn other people in the vicinity. Do not jeopardize your own safety or that of others. Follow the fire instructions of the establishment. If it is a small fire, use appropriate fire extinguisher. Do close doors and windows. Turn off gas, electricity, and fans. Do not wait for the fire to get out of control before calling the fire brigade. In this slide we will discuss about safety measures of prevention from fire. Staff should know to use the fire extinguisher. Staff must be aware of where the fire extinguishers are located. It must be checked for the expiry on a regular basis. Keep supply of salt or baking soda to put on fire. Never leave hot fat unattended on the flame. Never smoke in the kitchen do not keep burning cigarettes lying in the dust bin. Fire alarm must be maintained so that whenever it rings switch off the main gas supply and the electric supply immediately. Always keep fire exit doors open there should not be any obstacles near the door. Thank you.